I've come in the volume of the books It was written about me To do well, oh God I've come in the volume of the books It was written about me To do well, oh God I will do your will Do your will Do your will, oh God I will do your will Do your will Do I don't know if this uh, will ever be on the internet because <laughs> again to begin with um, I have music playing in the background so I'm already going to be getting copyright strike for that most likely um, but and then this is not the first time I'm doing something like this so I usually do this audio diaries not all the time just sometimes I have never put out anyone because again these are very personal moments in my life they are personal very personal um devotion time like my devotion is a very personal time like when I spend time with God is is something so personal and I'm not always very comfortable putting putting it out there and I don't know I feel like Anyway, that's also why I kind of like I don't I, would I call it a struggle, but basically, even when I'm leading worship in church, like it's somehow it's kind of difficult to replicate <laughs> what I do at home because I don't know devotion time is very personal for me. Um, but I'll just record regardless of if I end up putting this out. Or not I just finished praying it was a wonderful session and um, I don't know the reason I'm not sure exactly why I'm recording this like and if I put it out I'm not sure exactly why I just know that uh, okay we're we doing this let's just do it and I just want to hope and pray and believe that this would be for somebody uh, this blesses somebody um, I know one of the major reasons why I started this channel was to talk especially about faith matters like to talk about faith share my faith with the world share my faith with my subscribers share things concerning like scripture and fellowship with God and I know yeah, to an extent I've been doing that but I am very sure that there is more that I should be doing. There is more that I can be doing that I could be doing. And what is discouraging sometimes is the views, like the views on this kind of videos, like about faith, are not always so great. And I feel like right now with YouTube, I'm at a point where I'm really, really, really trying to monetize. And I'm really, really, really trying to start making money out of this craft because i just believe it will just make it easier and make like it worthwhile because i put in so much i put in so much work I put in so much time i put in like i sacrifice a lot i i'm thinking about youtube every day all of my spare time is going into that like i i don't know how to be idle it's almost like i don't know how to be idle anymore because even when i'm watching a movie I feel like how can I just be watching a movie when I can be editing on this side so I'm always putting in so much so to put in all of that work and um, not feel like you're seeing the returns like immediately is it can get very frustrating and it can get very discouraging 
but regardless we, we move we still keep going but basically that's one of the reasons why i'm usually discouraged to do like faith related faith topics because the views are not always so great and um like compared to like vlogs and other kinds of content but i think right now i've come to the acceptance that i'm going to still do them regardless of whether the views are great or not because i know that that is one of the reasons it's one of the purposes for which i created this channel and it would be unfair to myself to the people that would it would reach even if it's 20 or 2 it would be very unfair to them if because all oh, the views are not so great i stop or i don't do them enough yeah fine i'll keep doing my vlogs and every other kind of content but my faith videos are still very much going to be in the picture for those people that it is meant for and i mean i believe god in the end things will turn up for me uh i was listening to something today isn't it and she was saying how you cannot lose like as believers you cannot when you're in the will of god you cannot lose again the bible tells us that um god is able to do exceedingly no 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 that's not the scripture i was going for um yeah all things all things work together for good for those that love the lord and are called according to his purpose so as long as you're in the purpose of god as long as you're in the will of god you cannot lose it is a win-win situation so regardless of whatever and then like as she was talking about something totally different and i was just pondering on it and like the moment she said that it is a win-win situation it was like god was just uh telling me that it's a win-win situation and you cannot lose it does not depend on the outcome like so it is not based on the outcome of that situation because the outcome from a situation may be bad but still you have not lost it's still a win you have not lost guys i'm sorry follow me i know it feels like i'm seeing a lot of things but i promise i'm going somewhere okay and my voice sounds so much i cried earlier so yeah but let's just move on uh anyways um regardless of the outcome you still won it's still it's still working for good so maybe let's say you're praying for healing for somebody for a loved one and god forbid or you're praying for healing and it turns out that that person ends up dying and as a believer it may you you can't be like okay so what was the good from this situation because god you said that you, um all things work together for good for those that love god and are called according to his purpose uh, but this this does not look like good because the death of my loved one is not good it is not good like so why what is the good in this situation but i promise you like regardless of whether you can see it or not there is a win to it like you're as a winner you are, you cannot be disadvantaged you cannot lose you 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 there is a, always a win like it's always a win for you it is always a win-win situation regardless of it if it looks like a bad outcome or a good outcome i mean for starters that loved one be, um, if they are in Christ and hopefully they are they end up with God they end up in the bosom of God and they are not lost forever in fact scripture will say they just slept they just slept they are not dead death is such a it's such a difficult word for believers to use because we know what death means when we say somebody died died to die when it comes to like uh, spiritual terms and for the believer it means to be separated from god which is what happened to adam and eve when they refused to receive the li life that god gave to them and they died they were separated from god they were separated for, from god that is what death is and any believer who sleeps is not separated from god they go to be with the lord and we will see them again it's just a matter of time we would mourn for them for a while and miss them for a while like that's the very painful thing because you cannot see them whenever you want but as you're comforted in the fact that, that we do not mourn like those without hope as believers we mourn with those with hope knowing that oh this person is just sleeping i will see this person again this person is not dead and so what even brought me here um yeah but <coughs> i was thinking about the other so i believe god that in the end 
my channel and whatever whatever it will turn up for me and i can't remember how i got here regardless all things work together for good for those who love the lord and are called according to his purpose so it is always a win for me whatever the outcome it is always a win god will somehow make that situation work out for my good work out for my favor um, i know there is so much more so much more that i can do when it comes to like faith related topics on this channel and recently i've just really felt god tugging at my heart <laughs> tugging at my heart like it's so when i think about it like i really felt god tugging at my heart calling me to a place of more commitment more um devotion and fellowship with him more reverence and i know that there is so much more that i can do there is so much more that i am meant for there is so much more i read i was reading um which scripture was that let me find it acts thirteen thirty six. 36 it says now when david had served god's purpose in his own generation he f fell asleep like David slept after he has served God's purpose in his own generation. This is like something I know. Like I know that I have a purpose in this generation. I know that there is something that I meant. I am meant to do even with this channel, and it's not just about sharing my life and treasure. Even like regarding, but even much more regarding my regarding faith. And I know there, like I know this. I've always known this from time immemorial, even before I started YouTube. Like right from secondary school, maybe even primary. I've sure always known that there is more that I am made for. Like that God, there is something that I'm supposed to do for my generation. There is something that God wants. Like God has prepared me or is preparing me for. And even with this channel, I know that there is so much more that I am meant to do. Or different things hinder me. I've talked about one, which was the which was the thing with the views. But then on the other hand, there is the part of the extra commitment that it would require. The extra dedication, the extra consecration. And well, because when, again, I don't know, because of the kind of person that I am, some people like to call me perfectionist i don't know if that's really what i am but i just know that if i'm doing something i want to do it well and so many times the hindrance is there to like even share the word or share um yeah scripture with you guys on here because i know the areas of my life where i'm still struggling i know the areas of my life where i'm, st I'm still not getting it right and so it always feels like what can you come and tell these people when you have not <laughs> like you've not gotten it yet you're not there yet i'm sorry guys if i get emotional in this video i've been a i've been crying all like i've been an emotional wreck so just bear with me about how if i feel like crying i'll just take a break and hold on, get myself together but basically like that's like that's one hindrance that i've always had like that because and I just find myself postponing and postponing and moving it and moving and moving it like oh no i'll do more next year i'll do more okay next month just because i'm so scared of coming to do the things that i know that god lays in my heart to do here because of the things that i know that in my own personal life i'm still dealing with and i'm still not over and i felt like recently i feel like God has been, like he has been telling me in so many words how everything that I do is by his grace. Yes, there is a place for consecration and I can never um, take it for granted. I can never like just brush over it and say, oh, it's not important. Because it is important. Consecration is important. It's important that you dedicate yourself to God. It's important that you... If you want to teach, it's important that you give yourself to studying, that you give yourself to hearing the word here and more, more and more, and growing yourself, and all these things that are so important to do. If to be um, the vessel, to be a vessel in the hands of God. But again, everything that we do for God and do as believers is by grace, is by grace, and is by faith in God, and is by the Spirit of God. It is the Spirit of God that is now at work in us, both to will and to do. 
according to his good pleasure so it's all by the spirit and so that is why paul even paul will say i serve god by my spirit because in all that we do as believers it is by the spirit of god it's by the help of god even in being consecrated even in being dedicated it is by the spirit of god in walking in alignment with the will of god it is by the spirit of god because on our own we cannot by our flesh we cannot so even in service it is by the spirit even in worshiping it is by the spirit it is by the grace and by the mercy of god that we are able to do all that we do and so like recently god has just been telling me in a lot of ways in a lot of words through different people that okay yes esther i still want you to overcome these things i still want you to stop these things i still want you to come out of these things i still want you to do these things i still want you to spend more time in prayer and in worship and devotion and in fellowship and with me but that is not what qualifies you that is not what qual- those things are not the things that qualify you to be able to open your mouth and share my word with people I am the one that qualifies. It is me that does the qualifying. Because again, you c- I can get so caught up in doing a lot of all these things. And when I come to speak to you people, I come feeling all proud and like, yeah, I've done the work. And so now I have, I've earned the right to come and speak. But no, I can never be able to earn the right to come and speak. The only reason I would ever have the right to speak to people is because of God that qualifies me. Because of the spirit of god that that is in me because of god's love and his mercy because of god's mercy because of god's mercy that is the only thing that would ever let make me qualified and able to and worthy to speak to open my mouth and speak to people <laughs> i don't even know if this was actually what i was going to talk about when i picked up this mic i just know like God has been calling me to a place of like deeper fellowship, a deeper work with him. And God is so good. Like God is just so good. I was just thinking about how in my relationship with God, God is always the one doing the chasing. <laughs> like God is always the one doing the chasing. I can get so quick with chasing every other thing, be it money, beats maybe views and growth on youtube or whatever 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 it is that i'm chasing but god is always chasing me he's always like chasing me he's always talking at my heart i'm just i just want to pray over us and again like many times when i want to speak about um like scripture and things like this it's not very like i i find it easier speaking when i'm speaking in first person but usually usually i'm trying to speak to somebody even like on instagram i write things sometimes there and i write them a lot of times in first person but i'm actually trying to speak to somebody but it's easier i realize i think maybe it's just my style i don't know (laughs) i don't know if it ministers to people when i do it that way because i mean again it's when i if i want to do something i want to do it well and i've tried to like find out more about how to speak to people and it's easier when you say you 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 but i don't know why i find it difficult saying you I, i'm always on me 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 maybe it's something i should also work on or maybe it's just that it's still it's just my way of reaching out to people and it's still okay oh uh, i think i'll just pray because it truly this is just a prayer in my heart it's a prayer for myself it's a prayer for everybody listening i was praying yeah earlier i was saying i was praying earlier my day started in a very funny way but it has been beautiful and I, when i was saying god is always talking at my heart i really thank god for his love and for i thank god for how he's so intentional about me i was I was so like I just woke up and the moment I got up I was just like cuz already before I slept I was like I need to f- fix my room I need to clean everywhere and then I just woke up and I started cleaning my room I went to my TV I turned on 
a YouTuber's page and she was talking about how for a long for the longest time she used to feel a void that only after finding God has that void disappeared and after her another person played that played someone else isn't it Zara which I was, I was talking about before she was talking about she was having a conversation with her sister and after that it rolled the video rolled over into another video basically all I'm saying is everything that happened this morning just somehow brought me to this moment because tell me why I finished listening to YouTube videos I pause I haven't paused in the middle of one like the second is Zara video Zara's video I pause in the middle of it and I come here I pick my Bible and I want to read because I do this one year plan I'm doing this one year plan and I'm about to read my Bible. This was now the initial thing I was going to talk about. <laughs> I believe I believe the Holy Spirit is doing his own thing today. I read my Bible and oh I start reading my Bible. And I'm like, okay, no, I want music in the background. Like I just felt very unsettled. I'm like, okay, I, I want music in the background. My laptop was in parallel, but I was like, I just want to do it quick, 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 quick. Because I already have plans for today. I have a YouTube video that I want to round up today. Because after that I have to go to the market, then I have to go to church. So I'm like, no, no, let's just do a quick one. Fast, fast, fast. Same thing I did yesterday with my devotion time. I was just like, I mean, like quick, 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 quick. Let's just do. I spent an hour, guys. I, okay, like when I say quick, 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 you may feel like you may think I'm talking ten minutes. Yesterday, I spent like an hour in prayer and in like re- reading my Bible and in prayer. But I knew I wasn't done. Like I just knew that it was not time to leave. But I was like, no, no, no. I have things to do. I have to get up and start going. But I just felt God like. I knew God was telling me to stay. Like I knew He was telling me to stay. But I'm like, no, I have things to do. And so I, I left. And I was about to do the same thing again today. But God would not let. Like, God was just talking at my heart. I'm like, no, like no. Let's get music in the background. I'm like, oh, my laptop is all the way in the parlor. I just want to do quick, quick, quick. I'm like, okay, fine. I'm just gonna bring the laptop. I went to bring my laptop. And I'm like, it will be quick. The charger should just be there. I'm going to be quick. And then two minutes <laughs> into playing the instrumental, the laptop died. I'm like, oh no. Okay, should I just use my phone? Because I don't want, to, I, there's no time. And I was just, it was like, God was like, Esther, just like Esther, like calm down. Like, no, go and get the laptop. Just like take your time. Why are you in a hurry? Why are you in such a hurry? And so I, I went to bring the lap- charger. I plugged the laptop in. And I just sat. And next thing I'm like, I wanted to read my Bible off my phone, and it's like, no, get your Bible. I'm not even going to say it anymore because I know this was God. God was like, get your Bible, get your Bible, get your Bible, get your Bible, the hard copy, and get your notes as well. It was like God was like, I have, I have things to tell you. Like Esther, can you be still? Like, can you be still in my presence? Like. Can you take a minute and be still and listen to my heart and listen to the things that I'm trying to say to you? So I get my Bible. Of course, if I'm getting my Bible, then we're going hard because at this point it was obvious that God was not letting me go until I actually heeded. So I got my Bible, I got my journal, I got my um, pens, markers, all those things. I'm like, okay. God actually means business and we're here we're going to be here until God knows how long just because of for context sake and for how um the story I'm sharing this was this whole thing was happening around 12 it is 2 44 now (laughs) 2 44 p.m and um well yeah I've been here in the presence of God since then and God has like I have jotted down a lot of things I have cried I have poured out my heart and guys for context then there's nothing wrong like it's not like anything is wrong it's not like I haven't I'm praying for anything specific like like I had any specific prayer point it's not as if I'm going through a heartbreak or anything because usually many times I run to God like that or like this I spend so much time when something is wrong and there's something I really need to deal with but this time like God just wanted communion with me. (laughs) 
And I'm like, how can somebody so um so mighty, the Almighty God, how can someone so mighty, how can the Almighty desire me so much? I desire my presence so much. Desire and long to have communion and fellowship with me. This was the same thing with Adam, where the Bible tells us that at the cold of day, God would come to Adam at the cold of day to fellowship with him. This was all all that God was asking me for. I said, just come, come into a place of fellowship, come into, like, just be still, just be still. I, want, I have things I want to tell you. I have things I want to share with you. Just be still. Guys, I want to encourage you. Enjoy God. Like you can actually enjoy God. You can actually enjoy His presence. You can actually enjoy His love. <laughs> And also, God took me to the story of Mary and Martha. <laughs> and I was just crying, like I was just weeping throughout because this was me. Like, this is me a lot of times, doing so much, doing so much. <laughs> like this is me a lot of times, a lot of times. This is me a lot of times, doing so much. <laughs> I was just reading that story of Miriam and like, and Martha is asking Jesus, uh, like, don't you see where Mary is? Don't you see her uh, just sitting at your feet, listening to all you're saying? Is it fair that she's just there listening while she leaves me to do all the work? And God, like Jesus said, there is only, like, I read it from different translations and... <laughs> I just like I was I've just been wailing because I'm like God I'll read it I'll read it yeah, Luke 10 38 basically the the devotional time I've had today has just been so beautiful and I'm like God I'm so I'm so scared because the last time I remember having like where I just spent so much time like this in your presence was when something i think that something and i had things that i needed to sort out concerning how i was feeling and all and all and i was processing a lot of things many times i just do like my normal regular devotion and off i'm gone or i just read my bible and god god is not a god of religion god does not he's not after religion that's something we need to always be conscious of and always take heed so you don't fall into that system of religion because when it starts to look like oh okay like i have i literally have this calendar where i mark where i read my bible and like yeah i read my bible tick no god is not something to just tick off your to-do list and i was just telling god like god i'm, I'm so scared because i don't want to fall into this i don't want to okay so today we've had a beautiful time but what happens tomorrow is tomorrow going to be back to business as usual well I'll just read my bible because again, with the way life is set up, it's so difficult. Like it's so difficult to just stay for so this for so long in the presence of God. There's always something to do. So how do I, like how do I do it, and how do I go about it? Where so it's not like I'm just okay. Read my Bible, pray. One hour is gone. We're well done. Move on with the day. Where I have the luxury of time to stay for as long as uh, however long you want me to stay. And, uh, he was just telling me, okay, don't worry again. You are, you are, you are doing it again. Where you always want to plan everything, you always want to schedule everything, you want, always want to handle everything. It is by my spirit, and the fact that you don't get to spend two hours or three hours with me every day doesn't mean that we still cannot have a good time. You just need to be attentive, listen to what I want at every point in time. Cause I was like, okay, but God, there, some, there are sometimes that I do this my bible because the scriptures i read today are not in my bible reading plan i was about to do my bible reading uh plan and i was reading and i could like go like no 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 this is not like this is not what i want you to read i, I just and how i know and i just bless god now because i'm so happy because i 
uh, discerning the will of god and the leading of god is something that i'm so big on and i'm so grateful to god that it's becoming easier for me because how i just knew what i was so unsettled like i was not i could not be calm imagine me reading my bible and i'm still very unsettled like i'm not supposed to be doing this i said it was just like god has something else to say to me and it's not from here so he was just telling me just be attentive to my leading at every point you know when i want you to do the plan so again the plan is not something that is just there so that you tick off because there are times i read my plan and we have beautiful i have a beautiful devotion time because it's like everything there is speaking to me directly for what i need on that day but there are times when i have other things to say and well if you're so fixated on yeah i have to tick this off my list today then you know you will not even be patient enough to hear from me that this is not what you're supposed to be doing you're supp- like I, ha- I want you to read from somewhere else today like everything i read today was 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 just god dropping scripture in my heart and taking me there look look 10 right 38 let me just read verse 41 it says but the lord said to her my my dear matter you are worried and upset over all these details like this what this is what i was doing being so worried about a lot of details oh but how do i how do i this like i'm like my dear esther and as i'm saying i want you to insert your name into this thing if you're the one that this is also meant for my dear esther you are worried and upset over all these details there is only one thing worth being concerned about mary has discovered it and it will not be taken away from her this other translation tpt says mary the lord answered her matter my beloved matter why are you upset and troubled pulled away by all these many distractions mary has discovered the one thing most important by choosing to sit at my feet she's undistracted and i won't take this privilege from her And so I just want to pray. I, I think I'm done. I don't, I don't want to keep talking because uh, I just want to pray. I just want to pray for a lot of people like me that were so caught up in doing so much, in doing so much, in doing so much, in doing so much, even in the place of service. Like as a choir member and also the leader of a choir, I, I have so much that I'm always doing. Like, I, there's always so much to do and i I can so easily get caught of course again i'm so concerned about a lot of details i need which and it's not bad yes it helps things run smoothly it helps so that other people can enjoy the worship because again if these things are not done then some other people will not be able to then like there will be distractions or it's not it helps basically but still like you have to learn you have to learn to also receive you have to learn to also receive you have to learn the place of balance you have to learn to know when to stop when to stop stop and just take in and just take in so i just pray i just pray for those of us who get so caught up in the details who get so caught up in the hustle and bustle of life who get so caught up in the planning and strategizing and trying to make all things come together that we never forget to sit and listen we never lose sight of what is most important which is sitting at the feet of the savior and just receiving from him that we never lose sight of this i pray that for each and every one of us that god has been talking on our hearts and calling us into deeper that we answer this call not fearing like oh yeah i want to do more for you lord but i'm not there yet i'm not perfect yet not fearing all of those things and trusting god that god is walking in me he's walking on me both to will and to do and he's walking he's walking all these things out he's helping me the lord is my helper i read this other scripture um Zephaniah 317 the Lord your God is in your midst God dropped the scripture in my heart a mighty one who will save he will rejoice over you with gladness he will quiet you by his love he will exalt over you with loud singing and indeed, today God like quieted me by his love like I I felt after the moment I gave heed to the leading that I had received about let, stop the plan 
let go of everything just stay guys okay let me even tell you what what happened was i i just needed to be quiet i heard god just telling me to be quiet and to be still like just stay and i just stayed quiet for some minutes and i started crying i started crying and again this is why i always describe my time with god as healing time because even things that i don't know that are happening when i allow myself stay in his presence he starts to deal with them i'll just i'll, I'll read my journal for today with you guys i'm being so vulnerable today <laughs> i don't know i don't know when next will be this vulnerable because <laughs> again my, my prayer time these are very personal moments for me well i had written that i feel god calling me to a place of stillness this was at the beginning of my devotion like after i dropped the journal this was what i wrote down and then i just stayed quiet oh says i feel god calling me to a place of stillness and quiet like he wants to share something with me and just wants me to quiet down and stay away from and away from all the apparently this thing stops recording and i, I had no idea oh well, i was saying yeah and away from all the hustle and bustle and noise and take my time and i'm here for it and so i just stayed quiet for some minutes and i just started wailing i just burst into tears Take joy, my king, in what you hear, and let it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ears. You help us to stay still. You help us to stay still and know that you are God. You help us to stay still in the place of prayer, in the place of worship. That, because the world, the way the world is right now, there is so much, like there is so much going on, and life is set up in such a way that we almost always have to always be on the go. There is always something to be done. And so it's like, okay, I don't really have this time to spend. I don't really have this time to stay. But that, that's just a lie of the devil. It's just a lie of the devil to keep us going and going and going and going and going. And not refilling ourselves again with more of you. And so, Lord, I just pray that you help us to stay. You help us to, to tarry. You help us to stay. And you help us to stay. I had read the under scripture before my phone went off the other time. Uh, Hebrews 10, 7 it says, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written to me to do thy will, O God. And yeah, I was saying, this was Christ speaking. But again, yeah, I know as a believer, 
there are things in the bible scripture concerning me and even in my work with god there, there are things that i know that i ought to do and being big on my faith is one of the things and so on this channel <laughs> just a disclaimer and just so you guys are like prepared for it i'm here to do the will of god and i know like fear is the fear fear still tries to come into the picture and worry and not feeling what they know because again it's still a real thing to feel like i'm not there yet and i shouldn't be speaking about these matters yet but again it is still god at work in me and so this is also an encouragement to anybody who is not doing what they know god has called them to do like you know god is leading you in this path but you're not doing because you still feel like oh no, i'm not perfect yet i'm not there yet like, how can i be talking to people about loving others when i'm not yet loving people enough it is it is not your power it is not your will and even you speaking to people doesn't exclude yourself you're not speaking because you're perfect you're speaking also to yourself you're just a vessel god is using to speak to everybody including you so and it is still god working in you to will and to do and you're still most likely going to be a working process forever and ever <laughs> but yet that should not keep you from doing what the father would have you do and this is not a call to la uh la la what's that word lax 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 oh my god english is it lax shiviousness or laxity or now just living anyhow and not actually be giving yourself to consecration because i promise you there is a place for consecration there is a place for consecration it is important it's important to consecrate yourself it's important to dedicate yourself to give yourself in dedication to god but again that is not what qualifies you it is in fact much more it is rather it is important for you to do that so that then you would hear from god and know what you ought to do so that you are in alignment with what god is asking you to do but but then that does not give you any kind of pride and then make you worthy to now speak it is god that qualifies if you listen to the end wow i'm very shocked <laughs> well there is more to come and if you like more like fish related topics you can subscribe if not that's totally fine I don't know how to end this, but maybe I should end in a prayer. Help us to stay, oh God. Shana na mana calls. Rana na mana calls. Shai barata bai. Elena mana calls. Shuni na na ziti. Zora na 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 mana kutai liti shata. Eranda dio shata ye kie barata pa elene ne 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 me o jana na na esuti jalita Jacob's well will never do so I will draw from you this whole world will never do so I will draw from you. And I will be still and know you are God. I will be still and know you are God. I will be still and know you are God. I will be still and know you Thank you, Father. <laughs> Thank you, Father, that you love me so, that you tug at my heart to come into a place of fellowship. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you that you're always reminding me of what is most important. To not be distracted by the details and all that is happening, but stay in your presence and stay and stay at your feet. 
thank you thank you that I do all by your spirit it's not by my power it's not by how qualified I am it's not by, by how perfect that I am that I am worthy to open my mouth and speak these words oh, it is you that qualifies me it's by your spirit and by your grace it's by you by you by you by you by you and I serve God by my spirit I serve God by my spirit I serve by my spirit it is by you oh God thank you Jesus thank you Jesus